Uh, you know the rules. Oh god, so many bugs. Damn. That's how you swat flies. Mix me. Um, I guess we'll stop in here and pick up the red tear pepper just so we don't forget it later. Yeah, that's a lot of viewers. And get your get your F's out. I'm gonna need a second one in a minute. All by yourself. Tell me what you heard about. I the confess. What? Tell me. Got some pepper. House. Got the quest for the sun aloe. What? It. Where? There. The, that. Let's. Well. AOC, you, you gotta get up to date on your memes. Well, you you know the rules, man. You just gotta gotta keep it in your pants, as it were. Ban evasion is real time ban on Twitch. Oh, I I see what you're saying. You can go to a bitch day. <laughs> But yeah, if, if... I don't know, how does Twitch do, like, perma bans? Because if you keep making new accounts to dodge the ban, what do they do? Yeah, but people don't have... People don't use static IPs anymore. How do you do that? I don't know. I'm not smart with, like, IP, IT shit. But it was my understanding that, like, people hardly use static IPs anymore, so IP bans aren't even that dependable anymore. Well, yeah, but you can always make new emails. I can make a new Gmail account in five seconds. Hey you, stop right there! What do you want? If you don't want me to smash in your face, you'd better transfer a few gold- Get out of my way. My, you have a big mouth for such a scrawny little fella. It's time I shut it for you. Oh yeah? Give it a shot. Big bitch. Oh! Yeah, so I IP bands don't seem viable. Bugawk. Oh, well, he's having trouble. Hard drive man, so I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, that's good to know. Black Wolf, take note. Now people underestimate the quarter staff man. It was a it was a deadly weapon back in the day. Oh, 
don't know why I went through all this. I could have just taken the teleporters. Oh well, too late now. They can identify your PC by fonts. That is insane. Or um, anybody else in any fictional universe that uses this staff. No, I have to make such specific references about such general things. I guess this sidestep strats are better against monsters like this. But against monsters like lurkers and shit, not so much. Walk. I'm not really going to invest any learning points in mana, so I might as well nosh on all these. God, that was loud. Give me the shroom. Fuck it, I'm going ham. Nothing to be had there. Mmm, <coughs> murky. Uh, it's not the most ever sublime. I've had, uh, I think, upwards of 25 in the early days of the Gothic 2 streams. Can I kill a lizard at this point? Should be able to. Problem, of course, is that lizards are fast. Oh, God. And, uh, does not make two handed weapons terribly effective. I'll be honest. Melee just ends up getting so tedious in this game, especially when you're grinding. That's what, uh, that's what I love about being a mage, is you can just wipe everything out in a matter of seconds. How many did you get for that stream? Of that weird gothic one mod that replaced the damage voice. I don't remember, that was so long ago. I don't even remember what mod that was. Who cares? I don't care about any, like, Twitch trends.
I guess that's why we didn't do the black troll yet, is because the only reason we were up here last time is for the path of Enos. You bitch! You wispy bitch! Okay, he's gone away. Wasn't there, um... Oh, you know what it was? I was playing Mordhau again recently. I read somewhere that, uh... Or is it, people were talking about how, I guess... I guess, um... It was like a, tur a chivalry tournament. For some reason, people are still playing chivalry. And, um... They found out somebody was cheating. Using, like... They were, like, toggling. Using, um... Like, some kind of god mode hack or something. And, uh... Even though it was pretty, like, damning evidence that he was cheating, the developers gave him the award for winning anyway. It's kind of like, um... When Ubisoft had a For Honor tournament. And this guy won by using, like, a well-known exploit. And Ubisoft gave him the award anyway. They were too stupid to have patched it up before the tournament. Okay, well now we gotta fight Snippy Snaps. They are kind of a bitch. Okay, so we'll leave one of these alive so we can do the Grimball thing, even though I don't think there's any XP for it. No, they, they can't patch anything because they're too busy working on DLC and uh, like season passes and live services for a game they're going to stop supporting or make a sequel to in a year anyway. Oh god, I've made a mistake. Alright, fuck it, we're going ham. I know I said we weren't. Stop shouting! Neo Phoenix, thank you for following. So I guess we're not doing Grimbald after all. All right, well let's go kill us a troll. <laughs> Trolling for trolls. Yeah, that's all Assassin's Creed did is work. It wasn't any fun. I gave up. I, did, I tried Brotherhood, and after that I just gave up on it. I'm like, okay, nothing's changing. The only things that are changing is it's becoming less assassiny. And the stories and dialogues and everything are getting worse. Oh, he, he big mad black boy. Damn, this is going to take forever. Oh god. Might have should have kept a one-handed weapon for this so it would be a little faster. And I'm not doing crits anyway, I'm doing minimal damage. Yeah, something Ubisoft never seems to understand. And how they expect... Because nowadays they're doing this, uh, like, online, you know, bullshit. You know, they got the Rainbow Six, like, events and, you know, seasons and shit. And they're trying to do the Division. Trying to do For Honor. It's like, how many of your games do you expect people to participate in? In all these things, like, day after day, year after year? Nobody has a time for all your games the way you expect them to play them. I was specifically smacking my ass. That was not allowed. Oh my god, he got so close. 
strafe is like real fussy here. I thought I could just keep smacking him while I was reading the chat, but clearly not. I mean, it's just... I don't care about Assassin's Creed anymore. And I, the, the new f style that they're doing, I'm glad they tried to change it up, but they went more combat-focused. is not what I wanted them to do. You know, the game seems to play more like a weird Diablo-ish thing. I'm not really sure what I mean by that, but... it's not That's not what I wanted to play the games for. It just looks boring. Yeah, Sekiro comes out in a month. Or this month. I am interested in it, but I, I've just... I've watched enough of the gameplay footage that I question whether or not it's actually going to be that much different. They've obviously added, like, new controls. Um, it's going to be more... It's going to be faster paced, and it's going to be... There's going to be more expectation that you use, like, a variety of techniques rather than you know, stick to, like, a weapon class or something like that, but just at the base level, it looks like fighting bosses is going to be virtually the same. I didn't know there was a demo. He must, he must, he must have gotten, like, a press demo or something. No, it's called Equal Opportunity, like, the Black Wolf. But yeah, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll stream Sekiro when it comes out. I'm interested enough. It seems like it's going to, you know, kind of be the Tenchu sequel that I've been waiting for. I haven't played Tenchu since Wrath of Heaven. Almost there. It's a real pain in the ass. Ha! Wait, where is all your shit? Situation Metro Exodus. I just didn't end up caring about it. Like, I, I watched the videos. It looks like it'll be fun. But not fun enough. I did not feel like installing the Epic Games launcher just for that. And it's not really... I wanted it to be more like Stalker. I was kind of hoping there was a direction that they were going to go. I didn't expect them to, and they didn't. So, it is what it is. They, yeah. The Black Troll is... Yes, it is. I'm Hutton. Um... I don't know what they're going to do. They, they were pretty clear cut that they don't they don't want to just keep making sequels. They've never enjoyed making sequels since uh, Miyazaki kind of became the project lead of sorts. Giving away free games every two weeks? Well... Okay, I might I might take a look at it. I'll install the launcher, see what we got, and then if I decide it's not really worth it, then I'll uninstall it. I mean, how much space can another game client really take? You cracked the metro? What do you mean? Can't see anything. Can't get free games. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, that's no different than like the Xbox Live, like freebies. 
Actually, Steam, Steam even does that once in a while. They'll say, like, this game's free for this weekend only. But by that, they mean, like, you... Once you've added it to your account, it's you have it forever. Steam and Battle.net. I mean, I, I have the God Client just... You know, for convenient management of the games and shit, but... I don't use Battle.net because I don't play any Blizzard games. I'm, I'm lazy, so we're going back to the farm this way. Don't pirate games, man. That's bad. No idea. If you tell me. I don't think that was a client. I think that was just Elex doing that. I mean, if it was a client, I don't know. Oh, you mean division? I thought... I thought you said deviation too. I'm like, huh, never heard of it. I can't rely on that. this forever. You can't rely on that. Hello? Oh, yeah. You're getting... Getting better already. I used to say that myself. I'm right at 30. I should have played with that more carefully. I couldn't get away with that. I couldn't care less. Hey! Hey. I've got the height of a impossible. Incredible. Give me what you Okay. I, I give you time to Done. It was a plat. Yeah, I said it last time, but it you have to accept the reward he gives you, otherwise he just keeps the skin anyway. He's a dick. Well, if you want it back. Well, it's gonna be tricky. We need a an ice scroll. And that's the truth. Oh yeah, Subnautica got removed from Steam for some reason, didn't it? I forgot about that. Oh, listen, I'm not saying I've never pirated games before. Sure. I just... I actually had a weird thing. I used to, you know, back in the day, pirate music because I couldn't afford it. And Spotify didn't exist back then. But as soon as, like, I had a full-time job, I would start buying the albums I had pirated just so I had, like, a legit copy. Oh, for Metro? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think we're making it to the valley today. I'm kind of going through a lot of side shit. Yeah, we should make it. I don't think we have much else to do. Oh, yeah, let's get the uh, sun aloe back. Yeah, it's probably the only way I'd be able to play any EA games at this point, because fucking Origin can kiss my ass. Check the Bioware games you hadn't saw. And what do you mean hijack them? Like, You mean like it forced your client, it forced the origin client to launch them? It's not literally malware, like it's not designed to be malware. It, what she means is... It's... It acts like it just because it's garbage. You know, it takes over your system and starts doing things against your will. Remove the files, move them to the origin folder. But did they still need Steam to launch them? I've made mistakes here. Or did it did it like completely break it from launching them? Well, I can't say I've ever considered going to Lithuania. I'm sure it's Nothing lovely. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Gonna be launched from Steam, completely broken. Yeah, that's 
What the fuck? This is why EA should just go to hell. They literally want to own everything, even if they can't possibly own it. Unbelievable. I'm actually lucky that, um... Remember, at my old job, in order to get, um... Like, company emails on my f personal phone before they gave me a business phone. I had to install this, like, bizarre... Like, phone manager thing. That, like, took over my contacts and everything, and it just shunted a bunch of contacts into my phone. There were people in the company that I never even heard of. And all this shit. And then I found out from my brother later... That when you leave the company, they deactivate your account. If you have that kind of thing on your phone, it can brick your phone. So I made sure to uninstall it. And that's probably really the main reason I never played Dragon Age 2. I would have gotten it on sale if they hadn't removed it from Steam like a bunch of idiots. Yes, I did, Fingers. Why? I found the. Thank you. Sweet. Yeah. Bethesda can fuck right off. They used to make great games. Now, for some reason, this corporate attitude has gone gotten over them. And they decided they're gonna do all the things that people have been despising other companies for doing for years. Yes, she is. Surprise. Actually, have we... Yeah, we've wiped out the bandit camps because I saw Elvridge back in town. We don't need to worry about that. Hang on. I think somebody told me at some point that there's something on top of this tent. I forgot to look for it. Oh, there's a log bridge there. Holy shit. Oh, God. Whatever. God. I've had more than that many female viewers. Don't act so surprised. Girls play video games too. What the hell is this? Holy shit! I've never seen this before. Oh, wow! I got another fire rain, too. No, these tents are solid. You can bees on top of them. Alright, well, we got some dope shit. Might as well eat these to get the 30 decks for whatever it's worth. Oh, I can use this, too. I don't think I ever will. No, I didn't know about it. I'm telling you, every time I play this game, I learn something. Yeah, that's what really sucks. The publisher is the one who ruins it. Ironically, because they're the ones who are supposed to... You know, make it more broadly available to a wider audience and market it. And yet they're the reason nobody wants to buy it anymore. Somebody might have. I might not have seen the comment. Um, the, if somebody commented on it after I posted them on YouTube. I just always forgot to go back and look for it. But now that we were here, I have done that. Damn, son. Crossbows are massively slower than bows when you have less skill. I 
I probably just won't even play it, honestly. Like, Elder Scrolls 6 is... That's no secret. I can't say I'm eager for... What the hell? None of these dudes left. He doesn't see that. I can't help it. I'll see you later. Alright. Welcome. Okay, I think I have to go... Go to... That's all just... A fresh... Okay, Cord left, but I never saw him get back to... Onar's farm. I might have broken these people. Yeah, Dragon Man. Who is Dobar? Dobar's one of the dragon hunters, isn't he? Ever change? That will never change. What the hell are you talking about? That's all just oh, once I talk to Vatras? Okay. Actually, who is Dobar? I keep forgetting who Dobar is. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. You just have to listen. Yeah, that's that's Dragon Man over there. Sitting at the, sitting at the camps. That's the truth. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's the one who runs away. I technically did get his first trailer. This is a garbage trailer of like some mountains. Val is like even more aware of this game than I am. I don't think Dragomir really wanted to. Dragomir just, I mean, he's just squatting in somebody else's camp. Doesn't seem to care. Stop just bringing up random things. Nobody's gonna try and change your mind. Yeah. He's, he's just an odd character. I will say, as good as these old games were in, like, making characters, they were not very good at making them relevant. Like, there's just a lot of people who are just, like, hanging out. Like old Niklas up there. Standing up there, kill them all rats. Well, Skinner, again, was just something there to, you know, somebody to be a psycho that you have to fight. It is funny that he never does anything besides sleep. And the only reason you need to kill him is because you woke him up. Yeah. There, where I think what they were afraid of with Chapter 4 is if they put too many NPCs in the valley, no it would have felt less dangerous. But it would have been cool if you could kind of go on, you know, quests with a bunch of people. Hey. The Brothers of the Ring have sent me to you. Good. I've been awaiting you. I shall send you through the portal together with the other water mages. You are to track down the former ore baron raven and find we here bring this letter to sa may adana i don't think it makes it better it makes it equivalent because that's 50 i mean that's 50 50. the um militia belt gives you five per on each defense plus five more if and you're wearing the militia armor so it just become 50 50. So I don't see the reason to wear the belt, because I want to keep this belt for the extra strength. And I'm not wearing two rings. Why am I not wearing two rings? Yeah, I want to find the plus ten strength one. I always forget where that is. No quests apart from the dragon in the valley. Yeah. 
I do... They didn't have a whole lot of content in the final chapters. Like, um, side content. Not as much as I would have liked. That's right, yeah. We can get that in this chapter. Hey, also, hello, you. Pugson. I didn't notice you joining. And, uh, also, P1 Dota. Here's your app. Good for you. Have you ever used No. I've given it a. <laughs> well, I think he walk out. You've already used it. Do you know anything about a. Th the questions you. Of course, there's a thief and every petty pickpocket or fence. Does that include you? Can you help me? Okay. Nefari. One of the places. I see. No problem. Okay. Where? Let's do it. To the dense forest in the east. Then let's go. Well, Jarkandar would be even easier when we have the night armor. Which we can get in chapter 3 before we go there. Well, let's take a look. How, how does he... Oh god, Herod's floating. His people need him. I'm gonna I'm see how far I can get. Uh, let's, let's compare the armors. No, these may have changed. In Night of the Raven. There we are. There's the new ones. The knight's armor is... 100, 100, 50, 25. The crawler armor. That's a nice armor? Holy shit, that's good. Crawler armor, 70, 70, 15, 0. So even with a belt, that wouldn't be that much of an improvement. No. Later it's not too easy. Earlier it's just too hard. Yeah, but the, the crawler armor is not going to be worth it. It was worth it as a mage when he just had this shitty mage build. It is not worth it with this because you don't need to kill any much in the valley before you get back here. And then you just have to save Bennett. I'll let you talk. Then you just have to save Bennett, and you can get, get the knight armor. That's an open secret. Let's get this back on. Exactly. Well, you don't have to kill Cornelius. In fact, as a militia, it's really annoying. You have to you have to bribe him for some reason. It's hilarious that he takes the bribe because all he does is run out in the wilderness and hide in the cave. So it's not like he's spending it. Yeah, you're not supposed to kill Cornelius. Have you thought about... Yes. All right, my... It's gonna be gross. Come on, Larrys. You can figure that out. I don't think he can because he... does not drop it when you knock him down or kill him. Somehow he manages to... Spend it, I guess, on his way out of town. Yeah, it does get you. Well, no, because you don't even need There's to kill him to get the XP. You beasts. just gotta knock him down. He does drop it. Okay. I could have sworn he didn't. There's another one of the reasons why I never played as a paladin. Yeah, I'll see if he drops it. Like, as he's running away. Oh, 
Larry's gonna fucking hit it. Warrior's ring plus amulet gives you 30 or 40 defense. Yeah, that sounds helpful. Oh god, I got goblin skeletons on me. Larry, stop climbing trees. Hey, <laughs> that was a hell of a strat. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. This is bad. Well, seems we have hit a stalemate. Well, I'll let Larry do his thing. He's a capable young man. We're fine. Yeah, tricky to do, but he, you know, he's, he got the strats. Oh God. Listen, man. Fighting's in his bones. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get the wergs. Can't you disable it? No, I can't. Laris is invincible in this part. Oh, you can't disable in the first one? That's annoying. I mean, I don't, I don't really care about auto saves. If they were intrusive, like, um, you know, the game, game hung up for a while while it was saving, then I'd be irritated. But I didn't mind it in Risen, to my remembrance. A dragon root. How about that? I'll get on the way back. I don't understand why. Again, I don't only mind auto saves if they get in the way. So much for you, filthy beast. Don't you be taking credit for that. Uh, I think he might be. Well, he's not invincible at the end of the game. He's definitely invincible in this, these parts. He also, for some reason, has a lot of trouble just standing still. Settle down there, Larry. You're going to cause a resonance cascade. I just cost three and two for five dollars. I already have Just Cause 2 and I still haven't played it and I just don't care about them. They're not that fun. From what I remember. Alright, Wargies. Wargie Schmorgies. Yeah. Where's the other one? Smack. One less monster around. No, I, I can understand the fun of just like mass destruction games, but I kind of got my fill of that with Red Faction. I never really cared to do that sort of thing again. I don't know where the hell the other. Oh, he just went back. He does have a dialogue, but you have to approach him with, for it. He doesn't just say it as soon as you get there. Serpentine. Ooh, snapperweed. 
Come on, Larry's, you got this. Wait a minute. Oh. Guess he won't do it now. Hurry up. There we go. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. Good game for four dollars. Oh, let's take a look. See what's under five. Oh, they don't have that list anymore. That's annoying. They used to have a list for like games under five dollars. You know what annoys me is there's not like an easy way to see games like in your library and what they're oh here we are. What they're like selling for. Ooh. Got the uh, original Dawn of War games. Those are those are fun. Dawn of War 2 is meh. Ooh, sleeping dogs. Absolutely. Oh, that's 449, sorry. No, you don't have to. You just have to scroll down like really low for some reason. Deus Ex Human Revolution is alright. Ooh, Turok. Shadow Warrior, the 2013 version. Ooh, Psychonauts. Ooh, the original Deus Ex is on sale for a dollar. Absolutely worth it. Meh. That seems to be about it. Uh, the old... Thief Trilogy. Quake 2 is five dollars. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend all day looking at that. You know that Pirates from Jarkandar have the Cutlass and the heavy two-handed axe that usually requires over 100 strength are actually weaker of the versions we don't find anywhere. I'm not sure what you mean. So you're saying they, they have different versions of, like, existing weapons? Uh, the original Deus Ex, love it. Definitely one of my top ten games. Alright, well, back, back to business. Oh god. Stop it. You will get another ban. Good. Glad. I actually really want to play Deus Ex again. Probably just on my own. Alright, uh, help out. Four or five or. Damn. So much for you, filthy beast. There. You should be able to do the rest by yourself. I'm headed back then. I have a better idea. Yeah. Okay, I think that's 69 minutes. It's the best I can do. M4A4 Urban DD Pet. Someone bought it instantly. What on CSGO? I don't know what that weapon is. I know what an M4A4 is. I don't know what a DD pat is. That's fine. His other accounts probably tied back in by now. I 
Oh, here's my favorite location in the game. Or for some reason, this rock texture got stretched like a motherfucker. What, the original Hitman is 8 euros? Are you mad? I don't even think the new Square Enix one is <laughs> that much. Yeah, I know there's nothing up here. It's all just some rocks with some sporadic trees. I don't think there's anything up here either. Even though this one's quite easy to get to. No, this is just the same one. We're turning there were some Templars hiding here, because apparently that mode, none of them died, even though they were Seekers. Well, not all the Templars became Seekers. Like, obviously, Cory and Guard made it out. Yeah, it's interesting. The only um, old camp members that we know survived intact... I guess we're Lester, Angar, and Fortuno. Oh shit, I never killed these bandits. This needs a correction. He's, he's gonna shoot at me. Oh, he just gave up. What a dick. Come at me, bitch. Oh god. Oh god. I got too many of them. Oh god. I got them all. Come at me, you fool. Ow. You idiot. You're turning to meet all the named NPCs. Interesting. Even like the ones that you would have killed? Yeah, everyone tells me like, oh, returning is so bad, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, nobody will stop talking about it. All right, well, this is easy. Oh, God. Take that. Damn, this crossbow is OP. Even for somebody who can hardly use it. Oh yeah, thanks for that now, Dota. The question is, can I outpace their damage with a crossbow? Because he's got a bow bow. Crossbow one will be fun, I think. Oh god, I'm out of bows, arrows, bolts. I mean, it worked. I guess a crossbow is, in spite of my f relative lack of dexterity. Still really potent. Yeah. I don't know, it's da damage calculation seems to be different. I mean, I know it's still, it's... It is. Dexterity plus the damage, like the base damage. Minus their resistance with a minimum damage of five. So, I am doing 90 plus 30, so that's 120 damage, and I think their armor resists maybe 10. I don't remember what the light or the 
leather armor does. For comparison's sake, melee weapons. That's 60 plus 69. 129. That's assuming I got a critical hit. Minus their defense, which is probably like 25 or so. I'm pretty sure they still are in this as well. I don't think uh, neither Raven changed them to be strength based. There's no point in doing these, like, something only runs. It's the same as any two handed weapon. Are you sure about that? I don't think Noter was any different. If it is strength based, then that just throws everything I said about crossbows at the start. I oh, don't any know what's it runs. Where? Where? No. I mean, I'm still seeing comments saying that it's dexterity based, but sorry, I was looking shit. I was looking shit up. I might do a bow only run or something like that because that at least kind of makes sense. But none of these like oh no sleep runs or anything like that. And I'm not doing a hardcore run or anything like that because that would be ridiculous. And a no healing run would literally mean I'm never allowed to, unless you mean like no healing is in no potions. Like, I can still rest or something, but I still don't want to do that either. It would not be fun. Yeah, Puxin, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but, um... p and P1 Dota seem to disagree. Can you stop bringing up Assassin's Creed, dude? There is no reason for it. Can't just bring in things out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a point where you literally can't deal enough damage. Never. Never. I'm not doing a hardcore run. I hate that shit. The only one mixing it up is Black Wolf. He's pissing me off. He can't stay on topic. Dude has the worst ADD I've ever seen. You know this world is open, it's dense. Yeah, uh, it's... Because it's just not that big. I mean, they couldn't make a big world. So everything had to be... Condensed. What spats? It's dexterity for both of them, I'm pretty sure. I mean, unfortunately, I don't see any and way. Beliar spoke to Maybe there's something creature. in the file somewhere where I can actually see that. The people obviously the came up with a damage the uh, calculation the somewhere, so they got it from somewhere. Still Raven with a bow. Like, three shots. I uh, linked it earlier. I will find it again. Oh no, I didn't link it earlier. That is where I learned this from. It's an old forum post. It's like 10 years old at this point, but it was still post Night of the Raven. So I think this is still relevant.
It's the same thing with the dex-based swords like the rapier or the master sword. Even though they need dexterity to wield, they use strength in their calculations. Unarmed damage scales with strength, yes, but it has no... Um, I don't know what the base damage is, and it has no skill. So you can't get critical hits with your fists. And I think it has a base damage of like 5. So the only thing it's increasing with is strength. Oh yeah, it probably is zero now that you mention it. It's not a multiplication, it's just an addition. Yo, the thing is, unlike Gothic 1, in Gothic 2, there's a minimum damage of 5. So no matter what you're fighting, you will always deal no less than 5 damage. Are you looking at... Honestly. So we don't need any of these weapons. We're not going to end up using them. Because... He can't keep anything to himself. We are too hen. Everybody knows by now. That's what I've always said. That's not what I heard. Now that's typical, isn't it? Yeah, I'm supposed to give that to Maria. Go turn in these skins to Bosper. But the light was a torment. Oh, you're right. Yeah, their regen would outpace your damage. Was destroyed by That was obvious all along. I don't think it's ten percent every second. It's oh, well, maybe it is. There's multiple ticks per second. Yeah, they regenerate real fucking fast. But I found a way to break it when we were doing the experiments, and I still couldn't really figure out why. It might have just been because I was spawning him in. It wasn't happening reliably. Where have you been? Go fuck yourself. I'm a, I'm a man of the militia now. I've got to do that all alone. Wolfskin. A wolf. Good work. Okay, well, I have the money for the double blocks. I should probably save that. Know what to believe anymore. Overframe it, we were just a Yeah, another problem with That's unlocking the frame rate. That's the first I've heard of it. One percent of HP every uh, yeah. That doesn't surprise me. Don't say you didn't know that. Uh what am I doing? I'm no better off myself. Actually, I find it really funny that the uh, Wolfgar teaches two-handed weapons to, you know, anyone trying to join the militia, even though none of the militia ever wield two-handed weapons. Tell me. Whoosh. I think it was actually locked to 24 frames. I know Gothic 1 was. Also, I love how, since we never joined the monastery, good old Oof just stands there and gets drunk all day for the rest of his life. Yeah, the paladins do, but the militia never do. Unless you, you know, sell one to one of them. Hasn't anyone given you some of our armor? Then get some first. I got some. Hey. Let's... Sweet. Yeah, a lot of game old games were locked at 24 frames because that is what films ran at. There might be other limitations, Black Wolf. I used to have problems. Actually, I don't know if Gothic 2 ever had a frame limiter. It's just that the engine Everyone is to begin training in the would not um like use your graphics card to its full potential so it tended to bog down like crazy 
for no good reason. Gothic 1 definitely had a lock. And that was at 24. Mercs get mad if you don't wear the Dragon Hunter armor. Yeah. That is funny. I mean, you're not even a mercenary anymore when you join the Dragon Hunters. Like, they're literally not even... A lot of mercenaries became Dragon Hunters, but a lot of the Dragon Hunters are not mercenaries. It's also... It's kind of like the, um... Disparity that they imply between the rogues and the mercenaries in the first game, even though they are effectively the same faction, continue to act like it. For some reason, in some dialogues, they say that they're not really affiliated, they just share a camp. Alright, good for you, P Tech. I hope you enjoy Deus Ex, because that is an awesome game. Fingers, I commend your ability to either type that all out or copy and paste. Ultima Online was a fantastic game. Oh, memories. Except I was always terrible at it. I was always dying and leveling up smithing. Such a pain in the ass. It took forever. I don't have time for MMOs these days, I'm afraid. It sucks. I'm no better off myself. Alright, what am I doing? Yes, should we just go to the valley at this point? I think we have it. Uh... Oh, I wanted to, um... Get the black troll skin back from Raul, but fuck it, we'll wait. I'm just going. I knew the macros. It's just um getting smithing up took forever because it was so slow to level up. You know, you go mine some shit until your pack was full and your pack horse was full to bursting. Go forge basic equipment. Melt it down to get the ingots back. Keep forging. You'd make like a dozen swords and whatever and not even see like one-tenth of a percent of increase in your skill. You know, you couldn't do the, uh, the Skyrim strats. My strength is that. So, you know, heavy giggles. Animal taming too. The only reason to do animal taming is so you could tame the dragons later in the game and sick them on people. I love reading like the old UO stories on like the biggest trolls in the game. Like the one person who would tame uh, like dragons and then release them in like crowded areas so they would wipe out everybody and since everyone basically technically died of natural causes or like like you didn't technically murder them you got to loot them without like losing karma that was, that's so hilarious I remember idiot me um, I played Ultima Online a few years ago and kinda of forgot like all the old tricks I forgot that um, potions in the game may be like explosives. So somebody gave me a purple potion Nothing to plunder. and told me to use it. And I'm like, I don't trust you. There's something up with this potion. He's trying to some shit. So I ran back into town and used the potion there. And of course I exploded, hit other people, and the guards came and killed me. I was like, wow, I just made that so much worse. So literally me running to town thinking it would make me safe from this asshole just you know he couldn't have asked for better yeah Ultima Online was some fun times why do 
I'm still wearing the militia armor. I think I've read about Jackaroo. I don't know, all, all the UO trolls were funny. P Tech, don't worry about that. That is the game that shall not ever be uttered in this stream again. What do you mean, has an idea? I hate using two handed weapons. I, I'm just going ham now because I get annoyed fighting with him. I'll just tank the hits. It's really not that bad. It was just a very boring game. Did not. was not as nearly as creative as the original Deus Ex was. I'm, I'm better with one-handed weapons just because they're more agile, so like dodging and everything is more predictable. It becomes like muscle memory. Yeah, Invisible War is it's just a lousy Deus Ex game. I have not tried Mankind Divided yet. I own it. I got it for like super cheap. But I just, I, I kind of lost interest in it because of all like the bullshit surrounding it and, you know, Square Enix being idiots. No. 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 Don't have it behind the waterfalls on Lake Near Arrow. I think I did know that and I always forget about it. Hey, that's that's enough meat. Onwards we march. Take it. Are you sure if the I am sure. And we'll smack. I forgot that young wolves don't do the charge for some reason. Half life is 8 euros? What the fuck? Where did they come up with these numbers? Hmm. I can't remember what game it was. There was some game like I wanted, like an old game. I just never got it, because I'm always like, why the hell are you charging this much money for it? How can you justify that? It's like one of the only games that never came down in price. Arcania's not- why? I don't think Arcania is like five dollars in the US. Oh, it's twenty dollars. Fuck that. You know why? It's because nobody even considers- nobody from like Nordic Games even remembers. Arcania. So I don't even think to reduce the price anymore. Yeah, they're bizarre. I mean, how much is Elix going for now? Isn't it like 30 bucks? No, it's still $50. And the game's over a year old. Nobody's buying it. There's no more content coming out for it. How much time? I don't know, what time is it? It's already 2 o'clock. I gotta start. I gotta, like... I gotta clean up the kitchen so I can make food later. So, probably stream until, like, 3 o'clock. Yeah, I mean, THQ does sales, but not... Like... They never seem to drop their list price. To, or, like, at, at all reasonably. Yeah. 
Um, they don't know how to do pricing. They don't know how to do PR, apparently. See, I'm not going to wipe out all the orcs down below. Oh, I forgot to get that dragon root we talked about. I'm a Dorcas. What the hell was that? Holy shit! Andre, are you in stream? I just got the pop-up for uh, give, gifting me Arx Fatalis. I appreciate that, man. That is awesome. Oh, right. It's so weird. I always get fucked up when people have a different name stream to uh steam stream to stream stream to steam <laughs> or on youtube like I, I i knew you were the same person but reading your name in one place forgot what it was in the other one you don't deserve anything <laughs> i'm sorry that was mean yeah i guess there isn't i'll have to i'll have to stream that soon Right, these wolves are pissing me off. Oh, I don't have any bolts. I don't know, maybe... Maybe if I can get like a decent frame rate on this computer, I won't have so much trouble with the spell gestures. Why you gotta make this a race thing, man? Let's see what, what I can do to an orc. An orcus. Wuchacha. That's not that effective. Yeah, this is not gonna be fun. I shan't fight orcs like this. Oh god. Whoa. Yowch. This might have been a mistake. Damn it all. God, I'm having trouble with the combos today. This is not the time to be struggling this much. I just have to do one hit. Oh god. Scaring me. You're annoying me. No, nah, no problem, man. I understand. I appreciate the uh, the thought, though, and the gift. The charge changed attacking in Gothic One. For charge attacking, what do you mean? I already have it, Black Wolf. You can't really gift it to me. I'll play it, man. Believe me. It's just I know the selling point is the magic system, and I feel like it, if I don't use it, if I get too annoyed to use it, then I'm not really experiencing the game. I 
I just gotta, I gotta figure out a time to play it. So I already kind of committed to doing Witcher 3 as my side thing. Although I still gotta finish East Origin. I'm so close to the end of that. there. Nothing there. Damn. Damn. Hey, good for you, fingers. Hope you enjoys it. I love how bright this tunnel- oh my god. Oh god. How bright this tunnel is compared to outside, even though there's no light source in here. God dang it, Dark. So for some reason, if you go in this tunnel, it triggers the cutscene that you get when you walk down the path. Oh, really? That's kind of embarrassing. I always love that super cinematic, like, fire, like, gif they put in there. Yeah, it's funny, that cutscene was clearly made long before the end of the development of this, because all the guards still wear the old camp armor. Cinematic was created to show something different, but then they scrapped it. What do you mean? Like, what different? I mean, there were four, there were dragons, and there were militia. We know that the dragons killed the men in the camp. Or attacked the camp. I don't know, maybe. I mean, who's to say? I just think, um, the idea, I think, is that the, when the old camp, like, revolted and took over the castle, they just took the armor from all the men-at-arms, so that's why they looked like they were wearing military armor. In this game, for whatever reason, they decided they didn't like the old armor, or decided at some point to dissociate that from the old camp armors, and as such... Kind of broke the continuity there. I can't see him. Yeah, voice acting is incredible. Oh shit! <laughs> that's that's pretty much exactly how I'd sound if I saw a dragon flying in my face. I like it. I do like that the darkness is actually dark. It's just... kind of wish the torch did more. Yeah, that's true as well, Dota. No, you can't do that either.
I'm not a fan of the Gothic 2 militia armor. It looks silly. I got nothing I can kill that Dragoon Snapper with. Poor shame. Why would they get your name wrong? That's exactly how it's spelled. Andrew. People are idiots. Well, people still call me Morgan, even though they just ignore the last three letters in my username. That pisses me off. What are you standing around here for? I come from the castle. They sent me to look for those missing, and to check out the... Those missing some fled when the dragons attacked. But if there are any, can you help? Sure, if you can. How? First of all, you should st the orc. You might. What do I? If you want to live, the green of the. You're all jerks. Andrej. That's gotta be annoying. No Eskeri. Well, it's getting a little brighter. <laughs> yeah. A Baron's gone incognito. He's trying to, uh... Trying to throw people off the trail. Faked his own death, like Elvis. Oh crap, weapon. And smack a bitch. Is what called dyslexia? What you mean? I will admit, fingers slash Andre, that I never knew or realized that Jurgen has Iberian's goatee. It is hilarious that when you think about it, these games had more facial variety than um, any, any of Piranha Bytes games afterwards, to be honest. But they did recycle faces once in a while. Right, sorry. I, I'm, I'm getting mixed up. Y'all... Y'all talk too much. <laughs> I'm not used to having such a chatty stream. It's, I'm having trouble following it. I said stop talking about Assassin's Creed. What? Yeah. Like, they, they did add a lot of small details. I mean... When you're just walking around, like, for the first time, you might have trouble recognizing people, but when you look closely, like, even, like, the shape of the noses and everything are different. All of their games, like, lately, they have, like, standard faces and only change a couple details, like hair color or, like, facial hair. Who this side's back second bitch? Alright, this is pissing me off. Why can't I hit this fucking thing? Jesus fucking Christ. That was fucking insane. Well, because that one just kept sidestepping just out of reach, and this one was just wailing on my back. Gomez has a golden tooth? 
I never knew that. The more you know. That's what I keep saying, Val. I keep bringing that up and nobody seems to understand what I'm talking about. They're all trying to say things like, oh, you know, the guards were confused that the barrier got so much bigger. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Why were the guards in the barrier to begin with? And why were they confused? You know, they were confused because they didn't know that they were going to be trapped in there. What the hell do you expect to happen when you trapped a handful of soldiers in with hundreds of convicts? Like, the whole concept does not make sense. Yeah, exactly, Black Wolf. You need to tone it down. There might be problems. More permanent problems. But then how would they... How would the guards control the convicts if the guards were not in the barrier with them? It would have been no different. The convicts would have taken over. Unless you can make the argument that it was going to be a smaller area so the convicts went into just the mines and depended on you know like the guards could still kind of control them from outside but I don't know it's a German engineering I don't know it's it just does not make much sense but the, the magic doesn't solve the logistical problems of how do you control people inside a barrier that you cannot access? Especially because if you do get in, you can't get back out, and then you're stuck in there with them. None of this makes sense. That's the only thing, and they don't talk about that enough. If they described the original plan with a barrier better, we wouldn't be having this argument. If they described how they could control it, and just emphasized that, you know, the unknown magical interference removed all control over it and that's why shit went downhill they can explain how they were supposed to be able to control it then I would feel more at ease I still don't have any crossbow bolts I'm gonna go ham on some scavengers wow you only gave me one squawk Well, I don't need to because they had that um, lift at the trading square. Well, Typhoon, I have to go to Jargandar to get it. I don't plan on using the staff for very long. I just need to get a better two-handed weapon. Bagok! Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Well, how would they have built it? Because the, the, the lift is halfway inside the barrier and halfway out of it. How would they have built it? Somebody would have had to go inside. So either the only other option is that they somehow were able to coordinate with the uh, convicts to build it. Which is kind of a stretch. I'm just saying logistically, there are there are problems with the plan, and it doesn't seem like they were ever thought out. It was destined to fail, regardless of the sleeper's influence. No, Kronos doesn't sell anything. Oh no, he does. You're right. He does sell on the side of the portal. But the lift got built, that's a thing. You're offering up like alternative explanations for something that we know is there and exists. I don't know why I'm going this way. This is the way I used to go through this. The last time I learned that you can just swim along the river and be safe. I hate the logistical gaps 
in the plan. I, I need an explanation. Nobody's given me a good one. I mean, yeah, the, the barrier in Gothic 3, I don't know why it was different. It doesn't seem like the uh, barrier to exit was any better. I don't know, maybe they just couldn't do an inverse barrier. It had to be either a two-way barrier or a no-exit barrier. They hadn't, hadn't come up with a barrier technology yet to do the opposite. Oh yeah, that is true. It might have been a, uh, a lesser barrier spell. Enough, enough, dude. Talking about these games. Nobody's gonna try and change your mind. Nobody wants to change your mind, because your mind is impossible to follow. I never did, but the focus stones are, you know, kind of a contrivance anyway. I'm not that fussed about that. They're not so central to the plot as the barrier itself. Right, but I'm saying they didn't have cranes, they had the lift. How did they build the lift? Man, manpower needed to build the lift. That would have required manpower to be able to go on both sides of the barrier. You can't even get that close to the barrier, because it'll kill you. So it's not like they could have just built it. You know, from top to bottom. The only explanation is perhaps that they use, like, cranes and stuff to install the lift. Like, prefabbed it and then put it down, but... That would make it so structurally, like, unstable. I don't know. Alright, let's chomp on one of these and make a dash. Oh, Alright, represent. Everyone keeps bringing up the cranes. They didn't have cranes there. They had the lift. And if they had the cranes, why would they even bother with a lift? Why can't I climb up? You were damn lucky when you came in. I'm not buying those things. I don't need shot them. You. Then I guess I should be glad that- Save your breath. Save your breath, you dick. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know that, Dota. But Muffy, if the convex built it, how do they build it on the other side of the barrier? The, the lift exists on both sides of the barrier. And you can't get close enough to it to construct it like that. Oh, I thought you were talking about the militia belt. Sorry. Of this un yeah, I'll probably buy the strength belt. I knew it. I knew that. Heavy no, the what? I don't care about you. What? 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 Show me your. Rudar means a punch. Nice. Belt of strength. All right, get my get my championship belt on. Show me your. Already there before the barrier. I mean, you realize how convenient it would be that the barrier landed perfectly between the ends of the lift. I mean, that is a remarkable stroke of luck.
nighttime. I'm gonna make it daytime. I'm sick of walking around here in the dark. I know that. But that is bad writing. I always feel bad that Parlaf is the one What's I keep. Up? I always wake up to steal his bed. He's the one who probably needs to sleep the sleep the most. Exactly. And what I'm saying is the only possible explanation is that it was built on the inside from the convicts, coordinating with guards and engineers on the outside. But to put it together. They would have had to come so close to the barrier that they would have died. So, the only other explanation is that it was like a prefabricated thing that they lowered down, but then they would have... Maybe they could have secured it from both ends, like after it was like placed. I'm just saying, it would not have been a very solid construction because they wouldn't be able to build it into the natural like landscape. I don't think it is, because they just showed the lift in operation. And it's a very big lift that holds some heavy-ass shit. It would need to be very sturdy. You couldn't just build it and drop it. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I'm being... You came over. I know. Yeah. Way too fickle. We, it, we, it's the uh, it's the engineer in me. I can't help it. Show me. Right, so what do we got for two-handers? We don't have any good ones. Yeah, bolts. And find one of these out in the open. Yeah, why is he carrying that? Kind of funny that he sells that. There's a line that every streamer has crossed more of us a long ass time ago. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean. You've blown that line and every other one I've drawn. Then it's kind of built it before throwing them in. I'm just saying. They did not anticipate where the barrier would land because it clearly got out of their control. Therefore, it would have la the idea that it landed perfectly where the lift, you know, was already located is way too much of a stretch. I need, I need to find a decent two-handed weapon because I hate swinging this stick. <clears throat> didn't deserve that. Those were probably just people that they tossed in the barrier who didn't know how to swim, so they just died. It will never open. Hey guys, you can't can't speak too much other languages because I can't I can't moderate. You mustn't believe Might be saying something here. off color. Yeah, they could have died trying to escape. Either way, I think the most likely explanation is they were tossed in and couldn't swim. Look who is. Or it was um, bullet and everybody, you know, just killing them and leaving them in the water. Good to see. I you. Well, I've won. Well. Ow. So what is it? the paladins came here with the intention of getting the magic but we, we, we. Be, be, be. How, how, it, this. well look well but you keep what are it now so melty doesn't do anything for us if we're not a mage which is kind of annoying Oh, Pranobites just also liked to just put skeletons everywhere. Always been a thing of theirs. Yeah, well, the thing with being a merc is that the ultimate weapon you can forge is not as good as the best weapon you can find. So I don't 
I don't see forging takes a lot of investment in I learning points. What to don't start with me. Oh yeah, let's talk to freaking Parlef. Brotherhood built the lift. Yeah, of course. Hey. The sleeper awakened the lift. Hey. So that the old camp could profit from it. Who hangs and you dumb? That would never change. Britain. That's the first time you're in. That was obvious. Not buying the armor. I don't need it. It's too expensive. It's not worth it. Ah, yeah. I would hardly well, use it. You're that's cheap. Have you got any? I can get you better. It's not cheap. I can't even see how much it is. Give me the armor. 2,500, are you mad? No. No. Yes, I'm doing Chalk in Chapter 3. Maybe I can help. Mm. So, uh, so. Don't about. I got the meat Here, like Arby's. Oh, he's got crossbows for some reason. A lot of them. I will say the crossbow variety is a little disappointing. You know, you got shit, shitter, and then decent, and then the heavy. Yeah, he won't. He won't even give us the price. Like once you look at it, you gotta buy it. Oh, I remember those days. He listened to the wrong people. It can't go on like this forever. That was obvious all along. Where am I at? Guess we can learn some more two-handed fighting. Nobody's with you. You train people? Yeah. Yeah. Can you ship up? But he knew that all the Let's be. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. Nobody ever asks for my opinion. Do you really believe that? Let's just drop this here for now. That's the first I've heard of it. Do you really believe that? He really didn't deserve that. Yeah, Fink Ray, you're a better writer than Crown by Sizz, he says. I'm not touching that. There's only one person who matters. That's me. There, now nobody said anything. Who told you that? As if I didn't have enough. Don't say you didn't know that. That isn't true. Where do you come from? I've come from. I come and you that so oh I that uh, But why because you know a way to get through the You on the other hand have managed to get through once already all over again I need talk to Tandor about Don't have to ask me that Where can I find here take this if you have any decides what's right or wrong I want I can't can I pay that might that's a go on better How's this you should sit known better as if I try to do it without the money. I want to buy Gorn's freedom. Then bring me the thou. Oh. Somebody wants to know. As if I didn't have money. He should have known. How many talents does he have? Oh. You learn up to twenty nine strength for. Yeah, I know that trick, and I keep forgetting about it for some reason, because I'm not paying attention. Most random German vids. Yeah, I don't know. Their, their attempt at, like, social media presence is not solid. Hey! I like that they what are doing something, but I really wish... I am If you want to... I wish that they would, um, stick... You know, you do more forum posts and stuff, but... They are still semi. They, they, the thing is, they don't talk if nobody else talks. So, um. 
like the German forums still get you we, know question and answers now everything and, is now and again. Do you know how to get to the mining sites? There's no safe way into that valley, but it seems to make keep away from with this. Yeah, thirty, sixty, ninety, fifty. Yeah, I really should be more careful with it. But I'm an idiot and I keep forgetting. I have, to feel sorry for the poor guys. I have no idea why the official forum just disappeared one day. I know the the Discord server is still open, but I don't think that was ever run by Runabites or Nordic or anything. Oh, apparently it was. Still running. That's a whole new gossip. I've got my own opinion about that. Sooner or later, nobody ever asked for my opinion. Do you really believe that? Uh, I don't know how to do that. Just like that. It's not very active, but it does still technically exist. I mean, people have posted within the past week or so. It was just like you said. Of course, you're big pimp. Is it really true? <laughs> this guy's using the orc axe. I just sold him. That's hilarious. Garan sent me. I need some gear. Close or long range combat? Close combat. One handed or two handed fighter? Two handed. You are well armed with this two handed. I hope so. Not bad, but I'm not quite there. All right. Chomp. Sweet. Now I got a reasonable weapon. So yeah, Tandor only gives you stuff, I think, if you are a paladin or a militia or a mercenary. I don't remember if he even gives it to you as a merc. Hey! Garon wants 1,000 gold pieces for Gorn. A nice sum. I can chip in 250 gold pieces. I need more getting more gold. Maybe Gorn I'll write uh, none of this is actually necessary. I don't know why I even did this again. I'm not even gonna bother. You didn't get that from me. I don't have the learning points to really do, do a really decent level up. But I shall get there. Boing. Alright, let's see if this is a capable weapon against an orc. Swing. <laughs> Not really. Not a huge difference. to learn to do crits. How's this do? Or cha cha. That is no different. Well, there's a bug. No, it's not a Piranha Bytes Discord. Uh, well, maybe there is one. This is just an Elex Discord. Uh, if you're standing on this... On or near this um, ram... It's not exactly a bug, because they're... They're supposed to leash and stop following you. To make sure that they don't chase you up the ramp. But, uh, it gets... It's really funny because... You can stand right here hitting them. And they won't do anything about it, but because you're still in aggro range, 
they'll keep trying to come after you. They just won't be able to, you know, actually do anything. Yeah, it was worth wiping out the orcs as a mage, because at least I could do decent damage. At this point, nah. Let's grab Gorn's gold. Also, I wonder how Gorn compiled this gold. I don't think he had the foresight like Diego to try and... Um, you know, stockpile. I actually really do want to play Risen 1 and 3 again. For some reason. Not Risen 2. That, that game can fuck off. The funny thing is, like, atmospherically, I actually did not mind Risen 2, and I liked some of the locations a lot. It was just such a boring game. I don't know... I don't know why it's such a trendy thing to call Elex Gothic 2 with guns. It's, I don't consider it remotely similar to Gothic 2. I think one guy made, like, that comment, and for some reason, people thought it was hilarious, and now it's like a meme. Exactly, yeah, that one guy said it, and now for some reason it's a meme. Why does it upset you so much? That actually is not a horrible comparison, Dota. That's one I might actually be able to agree with. I think I did watch it. Somebody linked it to me a while ago. Like I said, I don't really... Scores are irrelevant to me, because... People come up with, like, the most... Arbitrary kind of... Values for... A subjective thing. At this point, I would have memorized all these lockpicking combos, but I don't pay enough attention. Why am I in pain? Can't sit down for this long. Thank God I don't stream for a living. You mean the un unlockable? It's uh, next to the... We actually... Uh, I clicked on it a little while ago, but it's next to the chapel. That's the thing. Like, people will come... People will call any... Um, any, like, open world game the Skyrim of X. Kind of like any difficult game is the Dark Souls of X. Yeah, a desk job would be a nightmare for me as well. So this is this is a chest that never opens. Stop shouting! Jesus Christ! Elizen, Elizen. 
Thank you for following. I turned the volume up on that alert a while ago. Because I would never hear it. <laughs> no, I think I made it too loud. Yeah, the, the game scaled up significantly. Well, because, like, Gothic 2 was definitely a little dated for when it came out. And Gothic 3 was supposed to be, like, a massive step up. I always get spooked by my alerts. Oh, God. Where the hell did that come from? I don't remember those being there. What is this, The Witcher? I still can't run Gothic 3 at a consistent 60 FPS. And I know people who have been able to. I don't know how they do it. I'll never get this open without the right key. I could have told you that before. I used to say that myself. I always act in the name of Enos. I couldn't care less. It can't go on like this forever. Been there, done that. Thought I heard somebody singing. Our downstairs neighbors have a tendency to throw random karaoke parties, and it drives me nuts. They actually got a. Oh my god, I'm out of lockpicks. They actually got in a lot of trouble with our landlord recently. We got a beam sticking out of the wall here, out of the floor. I've got no time for things like that. And they put it up on public display. I don't... I don't know how to... I don't know why I hesitate to set up, like, you know, the actual Twitch affiliate shit, but... I always just worry about that coming back to bite me for some reason, in, like, ways I don't think of. I just don't feel like it would be... All that much help. I never knew that. But he knew that all along. Don't tell me anything like that. I don't hey, know. you! I'm not smart enough to think of these things. Show me. I worry, like, for, like, tax reasons, that it would be. When you add, like, another source of income, the tax. income tax codes go, like, berserk. He didn't get that from me. And it makes me nervous. Just Why haven't I heard about this before? I don't think I am. That dude's, uh... Dude's got more of a, um, legacy than I do. It's funny, people, you know, compare the two of us a lot for some reason. And I always... Or I, I never really get the chance to watch his stream, so... Him and I are not on, like, speaking terms or anything like that. Not, like, any hostility. I just mean, like, I literally never get to watch the dude's streams. Yeah, I know. He's, he's doing the lever mod. God damn it. Derman Paradox. I feel like I've heard of that. True. So it says in the scriptures. And there's more, believe me. Damn it. Damn it. I could have told you that before. I used to say that myself. Who told you that? No idea. You tell me. I could have told you that before. I'm confused what's happening in the stream right now. In the chat. That's nothing new. No idea, you tell me. You already know what I think. Do you know what he thinks? I couldn't care less. He couldn't care less. It's better to watch out. <sighs> I don't have enough lockpicks to keep doing this. 
Damn it. So it's Stop breaking them, you fat fingered fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake. That was the wrong load. Dermin Paradox reviewed the Gothic trilogy and Forsaken Gods and decided to disappear, treat his viewers like crap, and not respond to them. Do you really think huh. Why, why has he done that? Oh, I guess nobody knows why. I don't know, some people... Some people have an issue with, like, doing content and social media and shit, and they just have a tendency to vanish for one reason or another. Because it gets, like, overwhelming for them, and they decide they don't want to do it anymore. It does suck, but... I think they're worried that, uh... There was some guy I'd followed a while ago. And he did kind of the same thing. He announced that he was done with YouTube stuff and would still stream, but then just stopped. And... Like, everyone's wondering what the hell happened to him, and then, like, five... Or, like, five years later... His YouTube channel, like, disappeared. Everything went private. And then, a few months later, he put it all back up and left a comment. And he was like, yeah, I took it all down. I felt like it was selfish to do that, so I put it all back up. But that doesn't mean I'm coming back. Stuff like that. Raven's Cry? I remember that shit pile. Remember after Risen 2 came out, I thought, okay, well, maybe this will be a decent pirate RPG. And then I saw it, and I'm like, no. Damn it! What the fuck? I hate... The breaking of the lockpicks. Don't have to ask me that. Oh my god, I'm so pissed. Jesus Christ, that wasn't even that difficult. Alright, Skelemoun. Damn, he hurts. I still got it. Well, that guy's shouting. He didn't do shit. That wasn't, that wasn't Gomez's skeleton. He didn't, he just had a basic bitch sword. Like, I didn't hate Risen 2 while I was playing it, but just, like, by the end of it, I was just like, you know, that wasn't very good. I will not do that. It will drive my neighbors nuts. Oh, I got a nice ring, I think. Why haven't I heard about this before? Yeah. Look at that. Path of virtue is long and rocky. I can't take the armor. So it says in the scriptures. That was Scar. And he had what became the Orc Slayer in this game. Oh, yeah, let's talk to Brutus. I don't really know what to believe anymore. Do you really think is there a quest reward for doing this whole thing with Gorn's letter? Like a XP. I have a for Gorn. A very what do you our food get me and a I can't believe that it is. I've got to come back when you have Oh. Why haven't I heard of this before? I forget what I was missing. I hardly know what to believe anymore. Gomez, he was... Nobody... None of the convicts ever really talked about who they were before being thrown in the colony. I think Gomez probably wasn't anything that significant. He just was, you know, a decent leader who actually organized the hey, camp, you. so he was in charge of it. What's my ups and... Could you... Sure. How much my buddy? What we and... Do you know as fu- Thanks. Well... So we know where Den is. We don't actually need to find him to turn in the money. 
I've got something. Excellent. I want... Right. That would never happen. Ever. Wait and see. You have to call this for everyone. When your militia possess people, yeah, it's because they are the ones. Like they, all the, all that is, you know, pre-flagged. It's not like it changes when you join a different guild. It's just you don't actually get the possession quest as anything but a mage. I mean, some of them do, such as Lee being, you know, a former general who was framed. It's just his story kind of got messed up and was not very consistent. I don't know what I want to do at this point. I'm not really going to get going on the finding the ore sites because I'm going to wrap it up in a bit, but I feel like I want to do something right before we end it. I just don't know what. Anybody else we need to talk to here? Nah. Gomez didn't get buffed from digging. He never dug a pit in his life. Oh god. I've done it before, p -Tech. It was a nightmare. Yeah, Torloff tells you he was a sailor. Um, we end up learning... Diego's history in the second game. Um, there's a couple guys that we learned were like farmers or something. Got thrown in the barrier for failure to pay taxes. I, uh, yeah, that might be the kind of thing that compelled him to quit YouTube then. I know getting hammered by angry fanboys is enough to stress you out and put you off that kind of thing oh yeah Horatio well everybody was a digger back then you know everyone who was thrown in the colony when the guards still owned it was a digger I just don't think he was a digger for long That'll do. Anything's possible. Yeah, you, have have to have to you mean That's the first I've heard. uh Garant? Is going to change. Not gonna do it now because we can get gold from Diego later. Anything from me. I still I think I said it, uh somebody recently commented on one of my Risen Three videos to take Angry Joe's side. Yeah, it really pisses me off. I, I hate this cult of personality shit on YouTube. I mean, in general. You know, in politics and YouTube and social media and Hollywood and all this shit. No, there is no personal validation or vindication in being so, like, righteously defensive of one famous person's opinion. CM Punk's theme? I don't know what that means. Is that a wrestler? Don't say you didn't know that. I don't know what I'm doing. If he doesn't see that, I'm just like running in circles. I think, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna wrap it up for up? today. I agree with you completely. Um, I gotta clean the kitchen and then cook dinner, so... Tomorrow, probably in the afternoon, we will begin The Witcher 3, for anybody interested in that. Uh, that should be fun. And uh, we'll pick this up maybe next Friday night, assuming something doesn't come up, as it often does. Otherwise, it will be Saturday morning. Yeah, arcs will happen soon, fingers. I won't, I won't delay for that long. Gothic 3 stream is not happening. 
I don't want to hear that. Um, I don't remember what I was cooking. I bought a bunch of shit yesterday. I have to look at it again to realize what the hell I had in mind. Um. Anyway, until next week, or until tomorrow, slash next week. Thank you all for stopping by. And thank you, Fingers, again, for gifting Arx Fatalis. I will make sure to set up a time when we begin that. Alright, well, you still got your other account, so don't test my patience with that one. Alright, have a good night.